guys, welcome back to another episode of the Burn Factory Podcast. Well, when I first came out of the womb, I was like, I'm gonna be a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I love women. I want to support and help women be more supportive because they're not supportive enough. I know a good label for you. Do you? Yeah, Priest James Entertainment label. Okay, let's yeah. well, check it yeah. out. We got you. Check it out. <laughs> That's so I'm trying true. to do some sort of like women tour, you know, bring a couple dope, dope artists and sell out the show. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Burn Factory Podcast. I'm your host, Paris, joined by my co-host, my brother, the one and only Phoenix. Say what's up to the camera. What's up, y'all? This is called the Burn Factory for a reason. I was literally caught on fire. 50% chance of surviving. And through that, I started this podcast because I believe every single person out there on this planet has a burn moment somewhere in their life. Yes, and something that we do a little different compared to the other podcasts is we will say burn moment. So a burn moment is a turning point in someone's life that they had to go through. And if they didn't get through that moment, they would definitely not be where they are today. We do have a guest that definitely can sing better than both of us. Oh, that's facts. That's facts. <laughs> that's <laughs> but she's a singer. She's a songwriter. She's a dancer. She's an actress. Everything business you can owner. imagine. She's literally everything. So please give a warm welcome to Lexi Pantera. Oh, thank you, guys. Woo! Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hello. Thanks welcome. for having me. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for, for coming, coming out. out. We're in Vegas. We are in Vegas. Beautiful state. Yes. <laughs> There's something about Vegas. Like the vibes are totally different when it you is. come here. It's crazy. A good good you can run into good anybody. Ambi. Any person out there. Pff, just running on the streets. Too. You're like, oh, who are you? Oh, yeah, I'm a Someone professional football player. <laughs> Exactly, Ooh. exactly. People you want to see. And, and people try to act like there's someone, too. Oh, that's there's everywhere. There's a lot of poser, though. That's everywhere, guys. <laughs> yeah. Posers. I, I got to get your thoughts, though, on Phoenix entering this karaoke contest. I always support people entering karaoke. I love yeah? karaoke. I might need a few Phoenix. vocal lessons before oh, we leave no. here, though. Background vocals will help. Background vocals. You can do background vocals for him. Oh, like, like the a duet? Ad-lib? Like ad-libs, the ad-libs, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the hype man. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> she got some booty. Maybe on. that's what I'll sing. I'll sing that. I'll My sing your song? song. Yeah. Be like, do you guys have Lexi Pantera? How do you not have Lexi Pantera? It's okay. We need to I get could, that up on karaoke. I can acapella uh-huh. it. I'll acapella oh, that's fine, that's it. Fix. Let's hear, let's hear you sing for a second. Got some booty on her. <laughs> she got some booty on her. <laughs> that's but. a good tone. He's starting yeah. off the right way. You think? Yeah. Do re me. That's that's as far that's as far <laughs> as I'm gonna go. So la t. I quit. That's I'm a, done. Is that you? Yeah. That that's good. A, yeah. See, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> see someone. Never, see, see. Do re me If you win, so tell them that I was your coach. Okay. I will. Okay. Shout out to Lexi Pantera. I'll You're film looking it. at the next uh, karaoke world champ. Oh, God. But. <laughs> All right, Lexi. So on this podcast, we do uh, use the acronym BURN. So each letter is a different time in your life. So let's kick it off with B. B stands for beginning. So take me back to the beginning of your life, your childhood. Mm. Was there any burn moments? Were there multiple burn moments that happened to you that got you where you are today? Well, when I first came out of the womb, I was like, I'm going to be a superstar. (laughs) (laughs) So I opened my eyes. I was like, the world's not ready for me. (laughs) I've always wanted to be a singer my whole life. I've always wanted to be in entertainment business. I was a dancer naturally. My mom put me in dance classes and stuff too. Um... I just was one of the people that knew what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And so singing was my passion. So I started singing as quick as possible, getting in dance things as quick as possible. Um, When I was 16, I moved officially to Los Angeles so that I could take it more seriously and get into the entertainment business. Mm -hmm. So I moved from Sacramento to LA with my dad Mm -hmm. and left my brothers, my mom, my friends. It was a hard, hard transition. I cried the whole way, but I like, it's something I needed, you know, Mm -hmm. and I wanted and I had to do. So went to LA, got into dance classes at the most popular dance studios, got spotted, got in a girl group, left that girl group, went solo, got some, got a song on Power 106, knew it too. I got some songs on um, TV shows like Entourage and stuff back Mm -hmm. in the day and all these things. I was like 19. Um, and I've just been pushing forward ever mm. since music, 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 music. And then twerking happened in 2014. 
So I just randomly was like, I want to, I saw some videos twerking stuff and I just like, boom, I want a class. I want to do a class. I want to do a workout class. And my, I'm always thinking money, money, money. How do we make money? Like business wise, how do you turn it into a business? Cause my dad's very business oriented. Mm -hmm. So I just have that in me. And so I'm like, okay, like we can take it very serious, twerk out, work out. Girls will come to class, they'll pay, I'll travel. And then it just mm -hmm. blew out of purport, like mm -hmm. blew up because of the freestyle videos that I wasn't expecting on YouTube and Facebook and just went viral. So it literally took me from one pathway and then completely pushed me in a twerking pathway. <laughs> so would you consider that like a burn moment? <laughs> that was a crazy moment, mm -hmm. yes. Because now everyone knew me for twerking. Yeah. And so my voice disappeared. And now I'm like, okay, but like, this is what I like. This is what I'm good at too. I could be good at everything. Yeah. Why can't I be really good at twerking and dancing just like all these other artists on stage, right? right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that was definitely a moment for me because I wanted to take that moment and not lose it because I had a great opportunity in front of me for it to work out. So I did that. But I also kept just kept singing. I had no other option or choices as to what they thought of me. So I just kept doing what the hell I was doing. Mm -hmm. um, I started dancing to my songs um, just incorporating my twerk out with my music more and i've just been doing that ever since and it's been a ama the, yeah. the biggest struggle of my life honestly <laughs> you know i'm blessed at the same time it's like a double-edged sword mm -hmm. for me because i wanted something different but i mean so many opportunities and, and things have i've done so many things so, so I'm would so singing grateful. be your first passion mm -hmm. over over dancing over for sure everything, yeah. yeah music why I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I've always yeah. sang. I've always, 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 like in the car seat, I was singing my ass off. Like I was just yeah. blaring Celine Dion. My mom was like playing all these crazy ballad singers. I just sing. I just wanted to sing. There was no reason to rhyme for it. I just, it was in me. Was there like a specific person that got you into singing? Or um, influence? Yeah. Not necessarily. Um, just the artists that I would watch on television. Mm -hmm. My grandmother, uh, she passed away about seven days before I was born. She mm -hmm. was a famous songwriter, singer, though, in Iran. But I, I didn't know anything about her. I haven't experienced any of that because she passed away, right? So that she's related to me. So that's cool because she was the only artist in the family. But I didn't get to meet her. So that's oh. so messed up. Um, but then there was an, a cousin that I had on my, my, dad, my stepdad's side in Sacramento. And that was the first ever time that I, I was 14 years old and in our house in Oak Park in Sacramento. And it was in his room. And that was the first time I had popped on a microphone. Uh, Shout out to Haki, RIP. Love uh, you, miss you. Uh, um, yeah. So he was an influence, you think? A little. Yeah. For sure. Like, like that was the first go. time I ever was on a microphone. He was yeah. a rapper, though. And I was like, didn't know what I was doing. I was like, uh, so yeah. Did you, did you want to become a rapper or a singer? No, no. It was always singer. Sing it was always okay. singer. Sing rapper mm -hmm. came during quarantine. Yeah. Okay. So during quarantine, I was like, I like dated somebody and I kind of was just going through this transition of like entering my bad bitch phase. Baddie and vibes. Baddie vibes came out, <laughs> yeah. you know, and we, we recorded that EP in a trailer up north in Petaluma. That was the first time I ever did any rap stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was so much fun. How hard was that? Like during, because it came out in 2020, yeah. a full album in 2020. Easy, because I had so much free time. Okay. People was like stopped working. I'm like, oh, this is the time to like really go in. Uh -huh. So I was in the studio with my producers going in, working a lot. I dropped a lot during quarantine. Mm -hmm. Is it, it was good for you. Okay. Yeah, it was a really good year for me, yeah. I get asked this question. Is it harder to write a song or to sing a song? Write a song, probably. Because right. yeah. if you can sing, I hope you can already sing. It shouldn't be that hard. I can't say, I can't <laughs> because if you that. can't, you might as well stop singing. And yeah. just stick to the writing part. <laughs> writing is hard, though. How I like to work is I like to like freestyle on a mic. So mm -hmm. like, uh, not freestyle, sorry, uh, mumble on the mic. I can't freestyle uh -huh. yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm working on it. Yeah. But like the beat will come up and then I'll be like, <laughs> and then I'll record that. <laughs> and then I'll be like, okay, let's listen back to that. And then you listen to what you mumbled and then you write to it. Oh, that's how okay. I record. So that's how you And do everyone it. has their own thing. People mm -hmm. are very different. Everyone has their own style mm -hmm. and stuff. But mm -hmm. that's unique. It took a lot that's to like unique. learn that though. You know, you have to go through it and be like, oh, maybe this is easier for me, or maybe this is easier. Because mm -hmm. I couldn't freestyle, so that was fucked up for me. I couldn't do yeah. that. <laughs> and then yeah. I couldn't like I can't go home and not listen to a beat and just write in my journal yeah. like mm -hmm. a song. I can't do that either. So I've tried different things. Mm -hmm. That's the better better it, thing for cre me. Creating the song bat is a baddie vibe. Baddie Vibes is an album. Uh, uh, Baddie yeah, Vibes is an album. Booty on her is a record. Okay. Baddie Vibes, actually, no, Baddie Vibes is also a single as well. So, going back to those, the albums, were there any burn moments that. I, I don't know how to 
say it, but like, were there any burn moments? Like, you know what? Maybe this isn't for me, or maybe I should. Continue? Oh, I have a huge burn moment, but that's right now. Mm. Oh. So, hello, oh. you're in my burn moment. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about it? We got her at the perfect time. <gasps> perfect How timing. Burn moment. Um, yeah, cause I've been doing music for so long, and I'm at an age where I'm like, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. So I'm kind of in a transition phase of like, I love music, I'm an artist, I'm always gonna be one. Maybe I'll not work so hard on the pop, me being the pop artist that I wanna be, but maybe more behind the scenes writing and, and being involved other ways. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I've done everything, I've tried everything. This entertainment business, this music business is just insane, political, you need to be bawling out of control. Um, and so, you know, you only learn these things though as you go through it, right? You can only get taught or told so yeah. many things. Yeah. And, like, mm -hmm. no one's right in this business. You're not, like, a doctor. It's not like, yeah. oh, here's schooling. You're going to be a, a doctor. Like, no. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of at my burn moment. I'm like, you know, like, I was really close to not wanting to do music anymore this year. And, like, uh -huh. maybe I just not put out the album. Maybe I just stop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And recently I was like, you know what, I'm just, if I don't do it, I'm going to be really upset because I'm going to be like, wow, I didn't do as much as I should have or could have done. And then I might regret it. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to do it. And this year I'm going to go hard and yeah. we'll see what happens after this. You know, if something yeah. goes viral on TikTok, amen. And that's what we're looking for. Right. Mm -hmm. So then fuck, I'm going, we're going, let's <laughs> we're, go. Like gone. I'm ready and <laughs> yeah. seasoned and fucking majorly prepared for this moment. Yeah. So, you know, that's kind of where I'm at right now. And it's really getting the courage to keep pushing and I'm only doing it because of the passion. I love it, you know? And mm -hmm. so right now is kind of that moment and yeah. we're going to see what happens. I feel like you really have to love something. That's keep, the only reason why I've been it. doing yeah. it yeah. because other than that, there is no reason to be in and this be, music yeah. business. Like it's not a fun entertainment business to be in. Yeah. yeah. And I feel um, like like the tougher the challenges are, it helps shape your outcome and love for music. And absolutely. And mm -hmm. it can scare the shit out of you. Yeah, too. Oh, exactly. <laughs> So you're unsigned right now. So how mm. difficult is that to put out music? It's been the hardest. There, yeah. It's been the hardest. Getting on Spotify playlists, getting on TV shows. Get, I mean, there's so I've had PRs and I've had I've had everything. Like <laughs> it is just, it is, it's a big business label. So they have a lot of power, right? Yeah. That we don't have independent artists. Like if I have a problem with Spotify because the song's not up. It's it's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I have Apple a problem, it's hard. If I want to premiere, I, it's just everything is a process and is not. It's not at your hand. It's not at your fingertips. Just, I know a good label for you. Do you? Yeah, Priest James Entertainment label. Oh. Shout out to them. Yep. Shout Priest out to James them. Entertainment. Okay. Baby. Yeah. Let's check it yeah. out. We got you. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's my burn moment right now. Yeah, We're cool. going through it. I'm pushing through. I'm happy either way. I'm not sad or depressed about it. Mm -hmm. I have a very good outlook on it. I'm positive. But it is a burn moment for me. And we're going to see what happens. Mm -hmm. It'll only make me stronger. Have exactly. you always been? Oh, uh, my fault. Go, 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 go. Uh, have you always been unsigned, though? Yeah. Your entire career? Mm -hmm. Was there a time that like you were signed and then weren't? No, or? I've never been signed. Yeah. Um, I did have a, when I was 19, when I said all this stuff was going on, Yeah. it was more independent. And then I got to a label, Universal, I think it was Universal. Oh, wait, Interscope Records. Oh, well, Interscope Records. I had a whole showcase, a whole three song in front of the Jimmy Iovine, which is like the head main person, all these things. And I was in the middle of Gaga and in the middle of pussycat dolls and I'm in the middle like um well where do I fit because I'm kind of like both of them mm -hmm. I was very similar they dressed me similar I was very like you know molded I was molded into this thing and so they're like we have this we have this like we don't know where to put you we already have this so I was like okay plus they they didn't God got knew how to do instruments I didn't play any instruments or anything I'm like all right fine left and just kept riding it out. Yeah, I've always made my own lane, even through twerk out. No one wanted to help me start it. I started it. Then people were like, "Ooh, yeah!" Now, now they all want to get in. Yeah, back and, I went yeah. on OnlyFans. No yeah. nudes. People were like, "Ooh, now!" <laughs> but like, it took so long for them to. Re so I'm always on the new thing, like and I'm always making thing, my yeah. own way mm -hmm. and making room for others to come and join. Mm -hmm. Whether I get the credit or not, whatever they can go suck it. But I know <laughs> what I've done, you know, yeah. and um, yeah. 
That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's actually leading us right into our next topic. And Baron Phoenix just said, beginning, B, time to go to you. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking about you not getting signed as of right now. And I thought it would be a good time to be like, unfortunate. Like any unfortunate. That's unfortunate that yeah. people are sleeping on me. Very yeah, unfortunate uh-huh. when I have Don't major sleep on talent. Her. Don't. I'm very seasoned. I'm prepared, and I've just done it for a long time. Yeah, and you've been in been um, in it for a while. I have. Yeah. How, how long have you been in there again? Forever. 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 Let's just <laughs> since, say since forever. out the womb. I'm since not gonna say how old I am, but <laughs> but also you know we're gonna keep it real and real honest. Is women only have a certain time in the music business, music business in general. Men can really survive till you're dead yeah. and women as a pop star coming out as sexy you guys think we're sexy icons it's like okay well we're only sexy for a certain amount of time and then we kind of get mm, we're done and then they're on to the next person. it's true yeah. and so that's where i'm at i'm like well you know how old am i gonna be uh, mm-hmm. there's a time where i'm like no nah, i'm not doing this anymore and i have other things that are important to me more important to me that i can talk about because i have a platform mm-hmm. You know, like women in the Middle East and shit. Like I could tap into stuff like this that matter to me as I get older. Mm-hmm. Singing will always be a passion. Of mine. Singing always has <laughs> a special place yes. in your heart. And entertaining and being on stage, I love to perform. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna be doing that all year. It'll be a good year for me. Yeah. So are you gonna go on a tour? Or like I'm a, planning a, on it. Ooh. Ooh. I want to tour. I want to do music come to San and Diego. I want to do twerk come, out. Yeah, come to come San Diego. Thousand percent. You have to I come. Come. I have family to, in San Diego. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're from, San Diego. Oh, I love San Diego. Yeah. You got, you well, got a lot a, of my family's plan. from San Diego, actually. Really? Oh, nice. It's actually what cool. Part? Oh, I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. San Diego. I don't know. <laughs> from San Diego. <laughs> San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they do have this like cool like outdoor amphitheater okay. that's right on the bay of San oh, Diego. Wow, really? So it's outdoors. Wow, that'd be crazy. Well, we gotta cool try lights. to fill that thing. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, uh, no. come out. Come I'll, out. Yeah, shout out to our audience. But I want to bring I want to bring a lot of women. I want to do a powerful women's tour because I feel like a lot of girl artists don't get a lot of performance time or just in general whatever so, so i'm trying true. to do some sort of like women tour you know bring a couple dope dope artists and sell out the show yeah do you think the time is now for you to do that for sure because you said there's only a short window for it's women. now it's this year it's now. it's now yeah women are winning more they are i'm happy about it mm-hmm. i think there's way it. more like music coming from women now I than know. ever We're really getting before a little bit more of a chance i think mm-hmm. yeah that's cool Good. that's perfect timing for yes. you so take advantage Today's of it pay the way it's perfect. this year is i'm going hard Let's go. <laughs> Especially with the new year coming around. Yes. Mm-hmm. And new, new song. Workout classes, new songs coming out. Um, I have another song January 1st coming out. It's a rap oh, record. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm releasing rap and pop. I don't give a shit what people are telling me because they're like, you need to do one genre. I'm like, I will no, do what the do fuck it all. I want Do it all. Do. So I'm doing pop. I'm doing R&B. I'm doing rap. And a project's going to come out this year. Hopefully wow. following a tour. Killing it. <laughs> <laughs> killing She's it. killing it. And me and my team are just, since I'm independent, me and my team handle it, you know? Yeah. We go in. That's the key is having a good team. Like for us, we're so <laughs> blessed. We easy. have a great it's team. It's not easy. Mm-hmm. We yeah. have a great team, but without them, we're nothing here. Right. So right. I feel like your base and your core, and you got to keep it tight. Can't be. You know, I'm not going to lie. I've gone through a lot of changes in, yeah. in teams, and it's not easy, yeah. especially when you try to um, work with family members. Oh, yeah. Oh, friends. And yeah. I tend to do that a lot because I love to help my people, but I have a hard time. It's yeah. hard for me. So I'm learning to try to, like, Ooh, <laughs> how do you balance or how do you not mm-hmm. do that? You know? Yeah, yeah I appreciate sure. better not screw me on this. You brothers <laughs> better stick together. Is that what you're talking about, you yes, two? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll try nah, you guys are brothers. Together. You have no we'll other option. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's, kind of, <laughs> it's kind of cool because, like, you see, like, all these siblings, like, fall apart, like, as they grow up and yeah. stuff. But it's kind of cool how, like, close. Yeah, we are good. And you yeah. guys should stay that way. Me We're and close. my siblings are mm-hmm. very close. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, he's sitting right there. We have, <laughs> I have three brothers, Isaiah, three Isaiah, brothers baby. and two little sisters. I'm the oldest. Oh, big family. Are they all in Miami as well? No, they're everywhere. No, everywhere. LA and then up north. Yeah. And I don't know where the other one is. Yeah, so and ta- LA. Yeah, they're everywhere. Talk talk about that move because you've grown up in California your entire life, and just recently you're out in Miami. So what was that move like? A fabulous. <laughs> Better than the Miami one from is so Sacramento to LA. Oh God, that was terrible. I was devastated. <laughs> Miami, yeah, that was the first time I ever like left the coop. I feel like I'm going on my own, and I did, and it's been a great journey so far. That's, that's Miami good. is lit in every way. <laughs> I'm moving there. I'm someday. not going to Los Angeles. I'm not going back. <laughs> <laughs> you won't. No. To no visit. chance. No chance. Not to live. I don't think. No. Yeah. I feel like Come a lot. to Miami. We will. Oh, anytime. I'm, I'm, I'm going, and you guys are more there. than welcome to stay at my house. <laughs> we'll take <laughs> you up on that one. Yes. He's been talking about it forever. Come. Florida. That's, I love that's Florida. like his place. It's beautiful. There's a lot like of good it. music scene. 
So like a lot of Spanish, Latin music, I'm trying mm-hmm. to tap into that stuff, you know, get yeah. a little bit mm-hmm. into it. Um, there's a lot of art scene in Wynwood. Yeah. Just so much art and, and entertainment, creative stuff. So yeah. way more than Los Angeles. It was actually mm-hmm. cool. We were we were in Miami, but we were out in Fort Lauderdale for a cruise, but we went to this museum. It was like the Science and Art Museum. And it I was live crazy. right across the street from that, I think. And really? Fort Biscay, right? Yeah, that's right In there. Fort Lauderdale? Oh, oh, no. no yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, this oh, is Oh, because I live literally right where the cruise ships are. So I was oh, thinking that you were... Oh, so like I, you can see from my balcony, there's Virgin Way. Air, like, it's like crazy really? cruise ships. They come in and they do a 360 turn in front of my house and yes. then they go back out. It's the craziest thing Do you know what surprised seen. me is how good they can drive those big of ships? It's... Cr- yeah. It's, how was the, the thing? It was, it was so fun. It was fine. It was fine. I haven't been on one since like 14 years old. You gotta go. I know. I plan on going this year, too. It's perfect because twerk out on the boat, <laughs> <laughs> right? Bring bring a huge group. Twerk out on the yacht. Like yeah, fifty. Yes. Every night's a, cl- a new class. <laughs> That'd be fun. Don't test me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> no, you should. New idea. <laughs> They're fun, but it was a good time. Okay. I, I enjoy them. I enjoy them. We've been on a lot. We've been like what seven oh, or eight. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, like our go to over the Next summer. Next time, tell me, mom. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was but, no, they're they're really fun. I like them. This portion of the Burn Factory podcast is sponsored by Phoenix Salon Suites. Please visit Phoenix Salon Suites at P H E N I X Salons S A L O N Suites S U I T E S dot com to find one near you. We're moving on to R. R's mm-hmm. little funny, ridiculous. So, has there ever been a ridiculous burn moment, like? A fan asked you some weird request or just I something. Mean, how inappropriate are we gonna get? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> they've asked me crazy questions. Um, but the craziest, one of the craziest, which a lot of fans have this, but I haven't, is like a tattoo, like oh. someone tattooing something of what I represent on them, <laughs> <laughs> and we have the same tattoo. <laughs> This oh. one. And this says uh, love in Farsi. Oh. And I have this fan. Shout out to you. And he has this tattoo on his neck. And oh. I was like, whoa. And he came, <laughs> like he came up and showed you? No, I've never met him before. Oh. Oh. He's all over my page, though. All over. Oh. He knows everything about me. Um, so he has this on his neck. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, it was a little weird at first. I was like, that's creepy. Yeah. But it's cool. I love my family. If someone got like a same exact tattoo as me, I'd be a little creeped, it's creeped out. out. Matching tats, baby. Yeah. Unless Who else wants member. to get the tat, fam? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Fiend my mom has me. Instant. My mom has I'm a picture of me here. Okay, I told her not down. to do it. I was like, Mom, don't. Do it. I don't know why yeah. she did, but she did. Yeah. And I was like, if you're going to do a portrait of my face, <laughs> Lord, please let me find the right tattoo <laughs> artist. Because if this comes out bad, we're yeah. fucked. <laughs> so I got a really good artist mm-hmm. and she, it's really really nice yeah, it looks like cool. me actually my dad has a portrait of my mom's face <gasps> on her forearm yeah oh my god I see it no yeah. way that was yes. done by that's a good artist to go that to that is Cat, so good shout, shout out Cat, Cat, Cat the Tat wow Cat, yeah. she's in LA oh how special is that yeah she's, she's, like, she's your a mom's very iconic good that's an iconic uh, silhouette okay yeah. <laughs> like that's her logo for her products and everything mm-hmm. I love so it. I it's love cool it. But wow, which is so funny. But any like, have you any had like stalkers or? I mean, like that, I know you've that, had stalkers, but I'm like, I'm trying to think of a specific time. Because mm. I feel like social media, it's so easy to find someone. I try someone to stay nowadays. away from my stalkers. Yeah, I haven't really ran into anyone. Yeah. I keep safe. Like, yeah, I try to keep That's it safe good. as possible. Yeah, don't tell I'm your tr- location. Like, what else? Um, I don't know. They just like to pick me up, which I don't like because I'm a big girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, don't pick me up because oh, like, like I'll do meet and greets. Yeah, like I'll oh, do meet no. and greets. I thought you're like, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, like sorry, yeah, no, pick, pick me up. up. <laughs> like, like, can I carry you? I'm like, why is everyone want to hold me? Leave me alone. Uh-huh. Like, I don't want to be carried. <laughs> <laughs> but at the fit convention, that's usually I was doing the fit expo a lot for twerk out classes and stuff. Uh-huh. So a lot of meet and greets happened over there. But yeah, they were okay. all cool. Talk My fans that. are pretty chill. What is it? The fit expo. Fit expo. So what is that? It's all fit. Fit. Just convention, like workout, workout, workout clothes, out. protein shakes, like just so anything you can everything. think of. So twerk out entered like three, four, five years ago. So I'm like, I don't know. Okay. And w- imagine like a fit expo, like there's like heavy bodybuilders, like the person on your thing, like they look like that. And then we come <laughs> in like twerk out class and, we're like, <laughs> and everyone's watching. They loved when twerk out came. So twerk out is actually at that convention. No, it, oh. we just come. We pop just, up. It's oh, pop up. Just, Everyone okay. just comes in mm-hmm. and pops up their shop. That's definitely good publicity though. For it's sure. great. It was yeah, a great, sure. it's a great, yeah. Time. Do you think you'll go back? 
Twerk but, Out might be back, yeah. If yeah. the conventions are going on, I don't know if they're going on right now because of COVID, like, oh, you know, yeah. stuff like that. But um, if they're back, Twerk Out, yes, we'll be back. You'll go back. Mm-hmm. Is there like a bare moment keeping like Twerk It Out like alive still? Like, <gasps> okay, so <laughs> yeah, like for me, because I was focused on music so much, Twerk Out, I uh, I put on a back burner eventually, and I was like, okay, like I need to do this. I want to do music, so. Yeah, it lost a lot of its momentum and everything, right? So this year is when I'm like, okay, I'm going to start. My music is twerkable. The bad bitch is coming out, my song. I can dance to that. So let's just let's just relaunch. Let's just bring it back. So bad bitch is coming out. We're doing twerk out classes again, which I haven't taught in a long time. I just did one in Miami. The next one is in Arizona on oh. the 28th. 27th um so yeah it's coming in full force yeah Mm -hmm. i want instructors again i'm gonna do certifications again um and try to find somebody that can really help me build it out more so it's coming back is it harder to try to find people to like for everything yeah yeah Yeah. in any aspect it is very hard Mm -hmm. it's not (laughs) that's tough (laughs) because you have to have the right energy in you, just mm-hmm. you, right? Yeah, People yeah. have to like you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Plus, you have to be amazing at twerking and what you do. <laughs> Plus, you have to know a little bit of business and how to teach. And yeah. yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. It's not easy to find people that are really good at it, but there definitely are girls. And they have their own stuff, too, now, though. You know, The really good ones have their own brands. They have their own stuff. So mm-hmm. It's cool. It's a business now. It's not it just is. twerking. You're welcome. got to make that dough. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, are you, so are you doing a solo right now? Mm-hmm. Solo well, instructing? Yeah, by myself. Like the past yeah, yeah. one in Miami mm, is just, just you. Well, no, I actually collabed with a girl in Miami. So she oh, has a big twerk okay. out studio. So okay, I was like, let's okay. do it together. So now I'm probably going to go to city to city and collaborate with the yeah. like popular girls that are there, you know, yeah. or whoever's there. Mm-hmm. How do you even like find people in like their Twerk, states? hashtag twerk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> scroll, 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 yeah. scroll. <laughs> Word of mouth. I mean, you'll find it. If you're in, the, if you're in that space, you're just going to, yeah. it's going to pop up. Yeah. I'm very close to quitting, but if I don't do it, I will be disappointed in myself. Yeah. I will regret no. not. And when I'm 50, something, whatever, however old later, I'll be like, why didn't I do this? I don't want none of that. I don't yeah. want none of why didn't I in my life. Mm-hmm. It's because you love it, though. I love music. That's the only reason why I've stayed. And I've stopped. I stopped a couple times like I'm not I don't want to do this anymore I'm gonna stop and then for some reason something comes back around yeah like hey do you want to do a tour with blah 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 and I'm like ah like of course yes yeah. I'm like shit now I'm back again yeah. and now I'm back in it again that's yeah. hard you know yeah I have been through a couple burn moments where I'm like mm-hmm. do I want to do this like how much more do I need to give myself yeah um who do I need to sleep with you know, what do I need to do? What? Because I've done everything besides that stuff, <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as an artist, as female too, it's hard because you're looked at by so many men and they want you. And so you have to keep that balance too of like how to be, I'm just work mode. Like mm-hmm. this isn't mm-hmm. going to be a thing. Yeah. I've, I've collab, not collab, but made a lot of people go popular, like viral as well and help mm-hmm. people, but they don't want to help you. That shit sucks, too. Yeah. When they tell you they're going to also, stuff like that. And that made me, like, I don't want to do this anymore because the people in the business suck. And they're not not up to their word. They are selfish. And you have to be very selfish in the business. Like, I'm not going to lie about it. But um, there's a way to help people around you and people that are helping you, you know, up. So Mm -hmm. I've gone through things like that where I'm like, you know what? Is it even worth it? Like, no one wants to support me. Well, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Like, who's going to support me? And another thing is women. Like, I, I love women. I want to support and help women be more supportive because they're not supportive enough. Men are way more supportive. Mm. Um, women are jealous very fast, very quickly. It's just common. We just have this thing in us. And so I'm trying to, to get out to people like women. Like, we need to support because it's the only way we're going to win. Yeah. We're not going to win if you're not supporting. And as an artist, women are very important for me. I need a woman audience because eh, guys might, may or might not listen to my music. Mm-hmm. It's the girls that are going to really rock the shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So to get the girls is really hard, especially when you're over-sexualized by a lot of men online. And the women might feel intimidated. They might feel like she can take my man. She might take my man. I can't take your man. <laughs> I don't know your man. <laughs> but, like, yeah. these, these are some things that I'm dealing with 
as yeah. a female artist with women. So I'm trying to work with women and work on women, mm -hmm. not being so much like this yeah. as well. Um, and I wanted to say, um, how do you get the gays? Is how uh, you get them. Yeah. Gaga, Britney Spears, they all got the gay community first, and then the women follow, <laughs> which is crazy. But it's just <laughs> been like that. Yeah. So we're just working, you know what I'm saying? Trying to hit all demographics, mm -hmm. um, trying to see what's working, what's not working, but being true to myself and staying who I am because that's important. I'm not going to try to be somebody else. I don't want to be. You can't be. You're not going to succeed that way. I've had a great following because of who I am. People know that I'm. I stay natural and and just myself. I'm not afraid to to be myself. And that ultimately is my goal as well. Is for people just just be yourself, your confident self, because that's the best you can be. You can't be anything else. Mm -hmm. Back to the woman thing. Like, what does the future look like to get to that point? Because you talk about how like women need to like be there for each other and be mm -hmm. supportive of each other. Mm -hmm. and I mean, yeah, women support women. Women support women. If I support you, you support me, and then we both win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but, but it's not—it's not, it's not really like that now. Mm -hmm. There's it's, a lot of jealousy. So I'm saying, how how do you think that women have to get to that point? Mm -hmm. Yeah, realizing that the only best version of yourself will be yourself. You can't be jealous of somebody else. It's impossible. Yeah. Like how? It's a made-up thing. Like. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to take. <laughs> I just hope that it happens. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying. I don't yeah. know. Maybe it takes you. I don't you. know what I'm doing. Maybe it's you. I'm hoping so. Yeah. I'm going to do bad bitch tips in uh, January for my bad bitch song, the single okay. coming out. And it's tips on being a bad bitch. And one of the first ones was support. Women support women. Bad bitches support women, period. You're not jealous. You're not mad. You're not like, I wish I was that and fuck her. Yeah. It's more of like, no, nah, like if I support you and you support me, we're both going to win. There's no other way because you're not me. I'm not you. How? There's, it's yeah. impossible. Um, yeah. I don't know what the question was. but I'm just <laughs> No, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Um, I don't know how it's going to happen. I yeah. just hope that it happens. That was a question. Yeah. Just hard work and perseverance and persistence. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully exactly. them watching this podcast to be like, yo, yeah. stop. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Hmm. You want another bad bitch tip? I think I have another bad bitch tip. Yeah, give us some more bad Let's bitch see. tips. <laughs> Just this thing, because for me, I don't like getting ready. <laughs> <In the morning. laughs> I'd rather be the girl that like, no makeup, hair a mess, and sweats, and I will be totally fine, mm -hmm. right? But I do now think a bad bitch should get ready to the best of your ability. <laughs> um in the morning, because it makes you feel better, it makes you ready for your day. Yep. It's a lot of just positive stuff. So if you try, just try to do it, ladies, mm -hmm. the ones that don't, you'll feel better, I think. I'm not saying you have to wear a shit ton of makeup or anything crazy, but just be your best self. Your best self is all, as I think that a bad bitch can be. And then there was another one was, it's kind of, it's together with this is, uh, listening to your peers and family and friends around you half the t most of the time if they're um and i'm talking about kind of like a physical appearance only here but this goes in all, all aspects of your life but like if someone keeps commenting on your fucking hair <laughs> it's probably time to change it like you probably yeah. have to change it if someone keeps saying like eh, your hair okay maybe i need to listen because my automatic thing is fuck you i'm gonna do my hair how i want to <laughs> do my hair but like you might want to listen because they might have some yeah. advice for you like okay you know what maybe i can take that because i look a little bit better mm -hmm. and presentable and more of a bad bitch so yeah. it took me a lot to like listen to people because i'm like no i'm not listening to you don't tell me but like you might be right they might yeah. be right how many people are going to tell you until you listen. So, until you listen to them and follow Like, maybe them, you yeah. should wear mascara only. Man, mascara. If you hear that multiple times, like, okay, maybe, maybe should. I should throw yeah, some fucking mascara exactly. on. Like, but and I don't also, like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to, I don't, don't tell me what I need to do. <laughs> yeah, you also don't want <laughs> But this like, is a bad bitch tip that I'm learning still. You heard those tips. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good, it's a good tip. And you also, you also don't want to, like, try to be someone who you aren't almost. No, never, 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 yeah, never. Yeah, because. Never. Your best self. Yeah, be exactly. you. Be you. Mm -hmm. Take I, care of yourself. I feel just like so your motto, simple life. Is, is that new, new song? Oh, well, new I don't want the simple song. life. Oh. It's about having a fabulous life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah. really, actually, a simple, simple life is, you know, we all work really, really hard to have that life that we want. When most of the time, the simple life is what we want, but we work really hard to have that. Yeah. When there's like homeless people on the fucking, at the ocean that live in their best lives, not working a day in their life, but they're still living the best life. Yeah. So my simple life is um, very simple, but it takes a lot of work to do it. This is kind of what the song is about. Do you think social media has a factor onto why people aren't like living their life that they want to live? Because they're just trying to be like someone else. That's the problem. Yeah, people are very unhappy because of yeah. that. Yeah. I don't want to live like that. No way. No way, no way, no way. And it's hard scrolling on TikTok. Everyone has their own like thing now, which I love. Everyone has niches. And it makes you think like, oh my God, like what is mine? What do I need to do? But like just be you and be comfortable in what you're doing and you're gonna mm -hmm. succeed. Like I feel that deeply. Because yeah. you can't be anyone else. They're gonna know. You're gonna know. You know when someone's trying to be someone. Like you can look at them and be like, what are you doing? It's corny. It's stop. Yeah. You know, like I can feel it at least. Yeah. Um, so I feel like other people can too. So just be yourself. But I feel like you're starting this new wave of just being yourself because you are yourself. You don't I try. Act. Yeah. <laughs> you don't put on a mask. You don't put on a persona. Most of the time. You're I'm a Gemini. So I do Gemini, go through I'm different. I'm a Gemini too. Are you? Yeah. I got the different person. I'm out. I'm a Pisces. You're <laughs> 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 the water si fish? Water sign? Something like that? I, I have no idea. All I know um, is I'm a Gemini. I don't know any characteristics or anything about it. I will change, it. but I will be myself changing. I will change myself. It's a good change. Like, it's a change for yourself. <laughs> it's, it's an elevated, you elevate. It's you, not a you change grow for up. Else. Yeah, it's not trying to be something different. Yeah. yeah. It's just an elevated version of yourself, is what um, I try to be. Like it. Mm -hmm. Like it. We're moving on to N. N stands for now and next. Obviously, you have the twerk it out. Fitness. Breakout is dropping again. You got music, music coming is out. Music dropping again. So what are some burn oh, moments? You know what? Let me bring this up because I didn't mention this. Um, the fact that we have teams, right? And you got to listen to your team. Um, when do you listen and when do you not listen to the team is the question. And that's been hard because they'll push you in a lot of directions you don't want to go in. They'll do make you do things you don't want to do. It's not you. So I think it's important when you are in the entertainment business and, and business. And sometimes when you do your own thing, it works more, way better. So like, just really know your morals, know what you want, and make sure you're getting what you want. And not selling, that's what selling out is, right? <laughs> is not doing something you're not okay with. Yeah. Don't sell out. Do what you are comfortable with, because you're gonna be happy, the most happy that way. How have you found that balance? Of I've gone through so many eras that I did not like. Don't put this out. Don't do put this out. I haven't put out enough music because I've had teams where you have to wait for so long. Hold off on this. Let's wait for this. Let's do this. Let's wait for this. I'm fucking done waiting. Like yeah. I want my music out. Yeah. So that's also um, staying independent is really good because of that. You can do whatever you want to do. That's really great as an independent artist. Russ is independent. So the benefit of an independent artist is also good at the same time. I didn't mention that, that it's not all bad. Mm -hmm. You can do what you want to do. No one's telling you, do this, do that, do this. Like, I'm doing what I want. And people are going to hear what I want them to hear and look at what I want them to look at. Um, so that's always been cool for me. Yeah, I've had that freedom. But I have had teams that are very specific, not being with a label, that are really hardcore like a label that tell me to do this and do that, you know, and... It's been hard. Yeah. It's a struggle. Mm -hmm. So that's basically considered a burn moment right there. Um, I've been through a lot of those moments. A mm. lot of those crying, throwing shit, family members upset at me, leaving. Um, it feels very lonely mm -hmm. when, mm -hmm. you know, it's very lonely because you have your own thing. Yeah. And a lot of people may not agree with it and don't want to go with you or support it. And that's mm -hmm. fine. You have to have that confidence in yourself, that strength to pull through because mm -hmm. you're you, do you. Mm -hmm. And the supporters will come who support you, that love you. They're they're there. Yeah. They'll find you. They mm -hmm. find you eventually. Yeah. <laughs> that's, almost, that's almost reminding me of kind of my story of getting burned in sixth grade by my teacher and you talking about like the toughest times, like throwing stuff. And I really felt that because... Mm -hmm. I got burned and I spent a week in the ICU. Physically on your face. Yes, physically on my That's face. That's crazy. Spent a week in ICU, seven surgeries. And wow. I couldn't be in the sun 
and for like a while and I'm a golfer. And that's depressive. That's yeah, depressing. Uh-huh. And kind of like it reminded me of like I'll just sit there in my chair and just like tears would just be nonstop coming. Tears would oh be nonstop coming down and I would grab You're adorable still. <laughs> look at that <laughs> cute you. little face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're so cute. Yeah. Well, you look great and Thank you, you fucking yeah. persevered. Thank and you. it ain't all about looks anyways. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's all about the heart and people can go sh- themselves if they care about the physical. Yeah. Mm-hmm, you for look sure. great either way. <laughs> Thank you. you Appreciate through, that. Baby. <laughs> but emotionally it is, I oh, can't emotionally imagine. Oh, emotionally it was, it was. Seven surgeries? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like reconstructing or like what was I don't even know what they did. I just <laughs> that's a I'll lot of surgeries the, for a kid. Mm-hmm, tough, but I mean, I've truly found how strong I am mm-hmm. through that. So it's very special. It takes these moments. Mm-hmm. You have to have these moments in life, yeah. unfortunately, mm-hmm. to understand mm-hmm. um, how grateful you are or should be as well. Yeah, and yeah, it gives you a fucking backbone. Whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you really see who's in your corner yeah. during that time. thousand yeah. percent. That's mm-hmm. a great thing. Yeah. Because if they're not and they don't deserve yeah. to be, yeah, they don't deserve to be around. Yeah. yeah. They exactly. want to be with you at your highest highs, but not your lowest I lows. can't wait to cut people off. Like, <laughs> 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 Honey, let me tell you real quick right now, okay? <laughs> this year when my song goes viral, good luck. Yeah. Because I remember who didn't support me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to remember. We support you. Thank yeah, you. We're, 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 we're in your corner. Record. We're in your corner. In I your remember corner. now, we're and I still Lexus. don't talk to people, but there's more people that I won't talk to <laughs> <laughs> after this moment. <laughs> yeah. Every time you post a song, go check out my girl Lexi. Give yeah. her. Yeah, man. Those. Support. Support your friends. Support, yes. support, support, support. You guys, if you're mm-hmm. following them on Instagram, you might as well unfollow them if you're not going to fucking support them. Stop with the bullshit. Stop. Yeah. I'd rather have five fans than 2.9 million with 1,000 likes. Yeah. Someone today DM me like, hey, do you want to? I get DMs all do you want to promo your page? Spend money on your page. I'm like, no, I've never done it. I don't want to do it. I don't want fake fans. I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing. But he was like, well, you're only getting a thousand likes on your comments. You have 2.8 million on Instagram. I was like, that's my followers fault. That's not my fault. Yeah. I have nothing to do with yeah. what they're liking. Mm-hmm. What do you want me to do about it? Yeah, not my problem. Real fans. And I don't get upset about yeah. it. I'm not mad. I don't give a shit because yeah. there is their thing. It's not, I'm not doing anything wrong. Mm-mm. Not at all. But those are your it's real you fans. who's following me who's not liking my post. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's uh-huh. not me. Yeah. You follow me still, mm-hmm. but I'm just saying like stop ghost post. Like stop ghost light. Like it's just be a, yeah. be there. And if mm-hmm. you're in trouble because your girl can't you can't like my photo, then just delete me. Yeah. Just no yeah. follow me. Just, yeah. You know, there's no point. Mm-hmm. There's that. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, moving into N and since for now and next, you alluded it. You have some more music coming out. I'm not done. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go forward this year. Um, I can't promise next year, you know, so if you want to support me, support me this year. Mm -hmm. And as much as you can, reposting, TikToks, whatever it is, Mm -hmm. music wise, um, I'm going to I want to tour. I'm going to host clubs and perform all that type of stuff um, and twerk out. Yeah. So that's this year. That's now that's coming up. That's what it is. And I'm excited. Mm-hmm. <laughs> seems very I'm exciting. Stoked. Yes, it seems very exciting. And I'm going to I'm London not... just for fun vacation. Ooh, right we were just there. right before Christmas. I'm excited. What, we were I haven't been there. in so long. Oh, I love what, London. what part are you going to? What, I'm going to stay in oh. Earl's Court. Yeah, London. <laughs> just London. London. <laughs> Earl's Court is where we're staying, guys. Okay, where did okay. we stay? We stayed. Wait, don't the, tell everybody. We stayed. We stayed the W. The W. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. I got a little Airbnb. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it was cool. That was our first time. We were out there for really? 12 days. Wow, that's a long so, time. Yeah. That was a good amount of time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My parents, they, they, they own mean. salons, so they opened their first. In London? Yeah, they opened their first one in, it's Manchester. Ah, cool. But, yeah, so they just opened their <laughs> oh first one <laughs> there. So we were out there. Oh, sick. Damn, I wish I was there. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. cool. So <laughs> that, was, that was fun to see. It was so cool being over there. I, I love, love London. it. I've seen, actually, it's funny you mentioned the Christmas scene there. Like, I was on Reels earlier today, and it showed... Oh, Christmas so much stuff London, there. Yeah, yeah. Like my cousin keeps sending me all these things because I'm I'm going with her and my brother. And she's oh, like, nice. we're doing this, we're doing this, yeah. we're doing this, we're doing this. We're doing this. <laughs> like, we don't have that much time. Me and my mom are trying to hit my dad to go there, but I don't know if it's working yeah, out baby. so well there. Mr. My Jason. next trip is going to be Asia. I've actually, Asia, I sang, um, not saying, I my first ever record I placed, and this is the only record I've ever placed, which means another group is singing it. So um, a K-pop group. 
Really? Yeah, a K-pop oh. record. I went to Korea for like uh, five days and worked at one of their labels there and wrote records with all these people. Some people didn't speak English. It was epic. Yeah. It was one of the best times of my life. And I got a placement from there. It was so cool. Oh, that's awesome. And the girl group Congrats. came out singing my song. <laughs> oh my God. So that's I really awesome. want to tap into that. Like, you know, if I'm not the face of my music, whatever. Eventually, I want to still write. I'm going to still be involved, just maybe behind the scenes. But we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. It's going to be there forever, yeah. Well, Lexi, yeah. you just you felt burn in your life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Tell, tell the viewers where they can find you at, your Instagram, your Lexi TikTok, Pantera. Everything. Lexi with a Y. Don't get it twisted. Pantera with two R's. Lexi Pantera on everything. You'll find me everywhere, guys. You heard her. Go give her some Go love. Go show her some love. And uh, I have a friend who I want to come on the podcast. Oh, we'll, we'll have to shout. We'll have to shout. Is it? Her name is Hannah her? Stock. Or her name. Not st- Why did I say stalking? Oh. <laughs> her name is Hannah. Brain burn moment, brain burn moment right yeah, there. Yeah, her name is Hannah. <laughs> Hannah. Cool. Cool. She's um she has a very famous mother. Oh. Who's in the entertainment business, but I'll let her tell you everything. Oh, cool. that's awesome. Her, She's right, very Hannah. cool family, very cool family. What's, what's her last name? Hannah Geraldo. Hannah yeah, Geraldo. Well, a, if I tell you the last name, you're going to probably know. Eventually you'll Geraldo? know. Yeah, Geraldo. That doesn't sound Actually, no, that. you might not know from We're that last young. name. There's another name that's young. very pop. Uh-uh. Benatar. Pat Benatar is her mom. Legend, guys. <laughs> young, fucking right? legend. Too, Rockers, rock star, woman, empowered, fucking legend. Really? Yeah. Right. So, um, Hannah, I would love for you to come on. All right, Hannah, cool. you heard Hannah. it. Come on the podcast. <laughs> We're waiting. Yeah. Come on the Burn Factory. But she yeah. has burn moments, too. Yeah, oh, we all have our own, does. but we, are, we all have That's burn moments. That's why we moments. have this. Mm-hmm. Everyone has burn moments. I love it. And Lexi, as a gift from us on coming on the podcast, we actually have... Yay! <laughs> Factory Everyone had black one but me. <laughs> black label edition. Yes. Yeah, so oh, wow. only Thank guests can get these. So only the guests oh, can have the black. I love so that. Yes. Thank you. This There's is beautiful, end. guys. Thank you so yes, much. Cool. Cool. But now Thank it's time to twerk. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> She's got to give us some Uh-oh. lessons. <laughs> Uh-oh. So, Kurt, Kurt Boogie might have to come join in. Let's get ready. Put the cameras up. Kurt uh-huh. Boogie. <laughs> Kurt Boogie, you got to come. As... <laughs> 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 And as always, please check out my foundation at priestjamesfoundation.org. Again, priestjamesfoundation.org to understand why we Love call that. this the Burn Factory. Mm-hmm. We'll see you guys for the next episode. Peace. Bye, y'all. All right, guys, we're here with Lexi Pantera. She just felt burned. Be sure to check out the podcast. But instead of doing a golf competition, we will be doing a twerk out competition. Twerk, baby. <laughs> and I don't know how this is going to go. Not I've competition. Never twerked before. Not Kurt competition. Kurt, where are you at, Kurt? We said a twerk competition. We got a six time no, twerk competition. <laughs> six time world twerk competition <laughs> winner. They're just talking now. That's a lie. But yes, I wanted to teach you guys one move, and it's an easier move. All right, we'll do it. Said, but okay. before that, you got to call out someone to come on the podcast. So, Lexi, who are you calling out? To come on the podcast, I would like to call out Hannah Gerardo. Anna, you're Anna, next. you're next. You're next. Come on. You need to be like a little bit bigger than your, a little bit wider than this. Just a little more. A little wider. Now, you know, like when your mom asks you to do something, you have an attitude, you're like, oh. well, more girls kind of do. Oh. Snap. But you see how you sit in the hip there, like just leaning like lazy? That is the move you need to be feeling in okay. your soul. Yes, there we go. Okay, now go the other way. Okay, sit in it though. No, no, just your little. Oh, okay. Sit. 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 Okay, so this is one. This is almost there. Not quite. <laughs> no groove. Scoot up a little. No Scoot up groove. a little. Ready? Go. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, you see how you're bending your knees? Keep going, yeah. keep keep going. Now start squatting. But keep bent, your knees bent. <laughs> now, look, like this, and then you squat. Oh. And then you're arching, your back, your chest is out, your booty is out, your hands in. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's how you do it. <laughs> ready, let's try it again, ready? Five, six, seven. Down, 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 down. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are doing it! Oh my god. Oh. You guys, you did good. My next I'm instructors. Better. Yes. Uh-oh. We're going to Arizona next week. In Arizona. San Diego. Yes. Oh, oh. I'm going to be in Arizona, you guys. First of all, I'm going to be in Arizona.
Christmas. Are you ready? I'm gonna have to work on that before we go on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go on. I'm actually teaching class there, so don't. Watch. I can't believe you guys did it. That's crazy. Tonight I'm gonna be in my room today. Shout out to Lexi for that. Okay, one more. Let's do one more. Okay, hands here. Oh, this is hilarious. Stop it. Hands here. Hands here. Okay. Now pretend like there's a wall here and you're hitting your hips side by side on the wall. Oh, this is one. Oh my God, you're doing great. Oh my God, the boys have hips. Shout out to the parents. All right. I've been doing no, not the money. Okay, now you're gonna. Yeah, yeah. Now <laughs> the money. Go really, really fast, like you're running in place. Oh, that jiggled. That jiggled. That jiggled. That jiggled. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing was winner. Yeah. That thing was standing. That thing was jiggling. He said winner. Cause you're not. Yeah, but that's the move. The little wobble. You know what I'm saying? You open your legs. Dude, that thing was moving. That thing is moving. Good job, Blake. I won't bother you anymore. I won't bother you. That's all for today. That's a wrap. <laughs>